So we will go through the uh, key points first and then uh, take up the uh, questions. So in essence, what we have discussed till now is that the basic human aspiration is for continuity of happiness and prosperity. And this happiness and prosperity can be ensured by way of uh, ensuring these three things, ensuring right understanding in this self, fulfillment in relationship with human being. And physical facility with rest of nature. So what we discussed in the uh, first session, that is lecture four, was that for continuity of happiness and prosperity, all these three things are required. And we cannot do away with any one of them. So we certainly require right understanding in this self. Then we require the physical, the fulfillment in relationship with human beings. And we require the necessary physical facility, which we can ensure with rest of nature. And we can see that all three of them are necessary. We cannot do away with any one of them. But there is a priority which we can work out for human being. And this priority is that right understanding in the self is the first priority. Fulfillment in relationship with human being is the second priority. And Necessary physical facility with rest of nature is the third priority. But then it does not mean that we will have one and not the other. We need to have all three of them. But this is the priority in the sense that if I ensure right understanding in myself, then it becomes easier for me to ensure the fulfillment in relationship with human being and also identify the need of physical facility and produce more than what is required. Similarly, if I have right understanding in myself and right feelings in relationship, then it is much easier for me to identify the need of physical facility and also produce more than what is required by way of production. So <clears throat> this is what we said in a sense. Now in the light of what we have discussed till now, we can see that right understanding in this self would mean understanding the harmony at each of these four levels of human existence. That is harmony at the level of individual, harmony at the level of family, at the level of society, and ultimately harmony at the level of nature and existence. So this is what is the meaning of right understanding in this self. So this was one. Second, we said when it comes to ensuring the fulfillment in relationship with human being, it has to do with the feelings, because feelings are fundamental to human-human relationship. And we have briefly talked about some of the feelings like trust and respect and affection and so on. But as we go on, we'll look into the details of what these feelings are in human-human relationship. And third is ensuring the right kind of physical facility with rest of, rest of nature. And <clears throat> these two together, you know, fulfillment of relationship with human being and ensuring the necessary physical facility with rest of nature, together, you know, ensures living in harmony at all these four <laughs> levels. So this is, in a sense, what we have to do as human beings to ensure the fulfillment of our basic human aspiration, that is mutual happiness and mutual prosperity. 
So in the light of this now, we can proceed. <coughs> we had defined this happiness. No, I'm just recalling it. I'm not defining it again. And in a sense, what we said. said was that happiness is to be in harmony. So whatever state or situation I live in, and these are the four states that we had identified, <coughs> if there is harmony in it, if there is synergy in it, then it is naturally acceptable to me to be in that state, in that situation. And when I am in a state which is naturally acceptable to me, I am in a state of harmony within, and therefore I am in a state of happiness within. So happiness essentially is to be in a state of harmony within. And this is ensured by way of <coughs> understanding the harmony, which is already there in existence. We don't have to create that harmony. We have to understand that harmony. And when we understand the harmony, we are able to be in harmony. So the essential thing is to understand that harmony, which is already there in nature, in existence. And we as human beings are an integral part of that harmony in nature, in existence. And therefore, when we look at this harmony at different levels, we find that this harmony is already there by way of the design of the nature. But we as human beings have to understand this harmony and live in this harmony. And this is what we have to do as human beings ultimately. So happiness is to be in harmony. And the different states or situations or levels that we live in can be identified as these four levels. As, a, as an individual or human being, as family, as a member of the family, as a member of the society, as a member the unit of the nature and existence. So this is what we have already seen. And in the light of these two, definition of happiness and identification of these four levels of our existence, now we can see that ultimately what we need to do in order to ensure continuity of happiness is to understand the harmony at all levels of being, right? and then to live in harmony at all levels of being. So this becomes our program for ensuring continuity of happiness. So this becomes the program for, for ensuring the continuity of happiness and prosperity, which is the basic human aspiration. So in a sense, we have said to facilitate understanding of the harmony at all four levels. This is our program. Right. And then to live in harmony at all these levels. And in order to do that, we said that we will go through this process of self-exploration, self-verification, where all this harmony at different level is proposed, you know, or is placed as a proposal, which each one of us has to have to verify on our own right. And as we said, there are two parts to this verification. Part one is we are verifying it on the basis of our own natural acceptance which is there in us, which is an integral part of it, us. So each one of us can verify these proposals on the basis of our natural acceptance, number one. And number two, when it is naturally acceptable to me, I can verify it on the basis of my experiential validation. Right? That is, I can verify it on the basis of my behaving with it or my working with it, you know. And if my behaving or working with it leads to mutual fulfillment, then it is a right proposal, otherwise it is not a right proposal. So through these two parts of self-verification, I can have the right understanding about the harmony. And once I have this right understanding about the harmony, it is possible for me to be in that harmony, live in that harmony. So this is what is our program as a human being. In the light of this, then we said, okay, let's look at this, you know, what this happiness is and what we have been thinking about happiness. Right? So this is 
not the same thing. What we have been thinking about happiness and what is happiness or continuity of happiness are two different things. And because we have not been able to understand this happiness and continuity of happiness properly, we are in trouble. So we are in trouble not because of the design of the nature of the existence, but we are in trouble because we have not understood that design that existence of the nature of the existence, that harmony in nature in existence. And therefore, we are not able to ensure being in harmony within and with this whole nature, this whole existence. And we are full of contradiction within and therefore we are in a state of unhappiness within. So now let's look at that, you know, how we have been looking at happiness and what has been the result of it. And secondly, how we can look at happiness now in terms of harmony. And when we look at, when we look at happiness as, as being in harmony, then how does it go about? So these are three ways of, you know, searching for happiness that we have described. Most of us, you know, in this uh, present time, if you see, <laughs> are working with the, mod the model which is in the middle one, that is getting temporary happiness from outside. So this is our model of working. That is, we think that we will get happiness from external sources. And there are two possible sources. One is by way of getting favorable sensation through the body. And second is by way of getting the right kind of feeling or favorable feelings from others. So both of them are outside. One has to do with the physical facility. The other has to do with the human being. So when some physical facility comes in contact with my body, for example, a low temperature, you know, 21 degrees centigrade through air condition, then I feel that touch, the temperature, you know. So it is a favorable sensation for me and I feel happy. Similarly, when I get some name, some fame, you know, when people respect me, I feel happy. So this is the model of getting happiness today, most of us. The whole civilization you know, today, what we call as modern civilization, is essentially trying to get happiness through this process. This we can verify whether it is true or for us or not true for us. I will leave it as a kind of pause for pause and thinking. Now the problem with this is that this can at the most give us temporary happiness. You know, and what we are calling it is it can give us some excitement. So when things are favorable, I feel excited. I'm not normal. I'm not is not in harmony within, I am excited. Right? <clears throat> when I am not getting it, I am really worked up. When I get it, then also I am excited. That we discussed. Right? Now this model is helpful to get temporary happiness from time to time, but it cannot ensure the continuity of happiness. And somehow we are looking for continuity of happiness even though we will not be very conscious of it, but at some deep conscious, unconscious level, we are looking for this continuity of happiness. And therefore we are not satisfied with it. So we try all ways and means, and we are not able to achieve continuity of happiness. So we feel frustrated, we feel depressed, you know. and as a frustration and depression, you know, we try to escape from this state of unhappiness. And for escaping from the state of unhappiness, we take too many things like, you know, alcohol or drugs or good car. In fact, before that, we take to overeating, oversleeping, you know, 
So by eating all the time, I think that I can ensure continuity of happiness. So I do that and it does not work. Right? So I say, okay, let us rest, take, you know, take, sleep and take rest and get happiness. So all that I keep trying. So this is all escaping from unhappiness and then taking to alcohols and drugs and things like that. But even this does not work because then it makes the situation worse. But then we keep fluctuating. We keep fluctuating between the middle state and the lower state, you know, seeking for temporary happiness and trying to escape from unhappiness. So this does not work. And this is what is the situation we can see around. You, know. you can see people who are obese, you can see people who are in depression, you know, people who are taking to alcohols, drugs, and so many things. Now, what is the alternative? What is the way out? So what we are proposing is that this continuity of happiness is possible, <clears throat> but the right thing to do for ensuring continuity of happiness is to ensure right understanding in the self and right feeling, right thought in the self. This is the way. So this continuity of happiness can be ensured within the self by way of ensuring right understanding in the self and right feeling and right thought in the self. And this right understanding now we can see has to do with understanding the harmony at all levels of human being. Right. <coughs> Family, society, nature and existence. And this right feeling has to do with having this feeling of harmony at all levels. Right. And when you look at it at the level of human being, it has to do with the feeling like trust, respect, affection and finally the love. So this is something we can see and this is what we have proposed, but we have to verify this through this course. You know. So now all the, uh, you know, kind of discussions to follow or the sessions to follow, uh, to follow, this is what we will try to do that we'll try to look into this harmony at each of these levels and see whether it is already there in existence or not. Number one. Number two, if I have this understanding of harmony and then this feeling of harmony, am I in a state of harmony and happiness within? And if I can ensure this being in harmony in continuity, can I ensure this continuity of happiness in myself? So this is something, this happiness is something which has to be ensured within the self right? and not has to be sought from outside. So this is, a, you know, what we have proposed and this is what we have to verify, you know, throughout this course and of course even later on. So with this background or this sum up, we can now take up the questions which are remaining in the light of this discussion. Yes.